Hi everyone and welcome to uh, Games Are Us in today's episode about Tanks for Bonds I'm gonna be talking about M10 French Tank Destroyer Tank Destroyers that don't belong to my favorite uh, group of tanks I don't like to sit at the back and camp but this premium tank it seems like a very nice handy little tank destroyer that will bring you a lot of fun and at the same time you can make your extra credits it only cost you one and a half thousand bonds the question is is it worth it well this particular tank has a very good view range obviously you have to have your crew um, up and running properly um, to get the maximum view range it's got really good camouflage on this uh, on this tank destroyer so you'll find that it's going to be a very handy in uh, this type of battles this is the fifth year uh, so it's going to be a lot of fun one way or another but because it's so good because this uh, this tank destroyer is so good it's going to be even more fun uh, on this particular tank at the moment my crew is not at the minute perfect it's not ideal I didn't have any other crew for it uh, I never actually researched uh, French tank destroyers I'm not much of a tank destroyer person uh, to be honest I'd rather have some sort of medium tank or heavy tank or light tank to be somewhere in the middle of the fight rather than just sit at the back but as you can see at the minute I decided to go on the left hand side because there's completely nobody here our artillery was uh, left alone so I decided to come here alone and check this side and at the same time I can show you I can present to you what this little tank destroyer is capable of It's a sort of quite obvious uh, position on that side to count on the heavy tanks on the other side. Anyone who knows this map knows exactly what I'm talking about. If you're seeing this for the first time, then memorize this position. It's handy, uh, it's handy in a battle if you never knew. For a tank destroyer. I'm sort of surprised I don't see any more enemies yet on this side, but there we go. There's a BDR coming up out. Didn't have much luck penetrating him. It's, there is not much penetration on this on this um, tank destroyer, but it's enough. You just have to aim a little bit. There's another BDR, and they all decided to uh, come towards me now. Well, I'm going to do a few blinds. As you can see, the reload is really fast. It really takes no time at all to reload. It's got um, a lot of a lot of rounds available. You have another one there that I haven't spotted previously. Oh, I'll rush the shot this time. As you can see, you have to aim a little bit because I've been trying to rush the shots, trying to shoot without aiming for long so I don't get hit. And the snapshots don't really work out. But again, like I mentioned, my crew is not the best. So you probably find that if you have a better crew than mine, these snapshots and whatever else you're going to be doing is going to be so much better. But there you go. Another one bites the dust, as they say. And we have the first victim lining up nicely, not doing anything to uh, prevent this uh, this demise. There we go, one after another. There is a third one. It looks like we're going to win this battle. Um, so quickly summoning this tank. Yes. It's, it's quite a fast tank, it's a mobile tank, it's got a good concealment, good firepower, good view range. Obviously, once you get spotted, because it's, uh, it's an open roof tank destroyer, if someone starts 
shooting to you from uh, heat ammo or artillery or whatever the survivability is probably quite low the chances are uh, so try to avoid to be spotted too much too often because I don't think you can take many hits to be fair but other than this it's a perfect nice little round all round tank destroyer if anyone asks me if it's worth one and a half thousand bonds I'll say yes it definitely is worth it um, and because it's a 50 you can see how even uh, good at aiming it is from far if you actually aim now I'm gonna shoot the blind and even though he got me, I got him as well. As you can see, he took half of my life uh, with that shot. Like I mentioned, it's not a good tank to, uh, to take damage, but it's definitely a brilliant tank to deal damage. Especially when we're talking about tier 5, 6. I think the problem could start on the tier 7, but still, if you know the weak spots, if you find your targets properly, uh, you're still going to do a lot of damage to 7s. So far, it's been uh, it's been a good fun. I've played only a few battles so far on this tank, um, and yes, I do have a lot of fun. I do recommend it. Buy it. I would, um, even though I'm buying all these ones now to to create more videos for you. Uh, I still chose to buy this one because I knew I'm going to use it. Um, I find a lot of fun playing on this sort of lower tiers. It's definitely more fun than playing 10 tier, that's for sure. So there we go. Six frags, nearly 2,000 damage. Do no good round fun. My answer is buy the tank. Thank you for watching and see you in my next videos. Take care.